commercial boost converter is very useful thing to the boost volt. This has an incredible progress in working. Is it possible to make a more easily? Yes, I am going to make a boost converter by using 555 timer chip. Now the question is, will it work as like as a commercial one? Let's find out what the difference between commercial boost converter and my homemade boost converter. Stay tuned to the end of this video. Before making a boost converter, let's have a closer look how does the principle work in boosting volt. This is the main diagram to the boosting volts. When this MOSFET turns on, the coil creates a magnetic field. And when this MOSFET is off, this energy pushing the volt into the output capacitor. The output voltage depends on how fast the MOSFET will turn on and off. I made a circuit on this breadboard just like the diagram. When I press this button repeatedly, by slowing increase the volt. That's the rule of boosting volts. Now I need to PWM signal creator. I made a diagram for PWM signal creator. Triple 5 timer IC is good for it, which can create 2250 Hz signal, which came out from this triple 5 IC's 3 number pin. This depends on this 10k trimmer. But in this case, commercial boost converter has a feedback function. Feedback means how much load is given to the commercial boost converter. And if the load increases, then PWM signal maintain the voltage. Therefore, voltage never decreases. So, triple 5 timer IC is not built for boosting volts. So, there is no chance of feedback. So, this can help to build a normal boost converter. Let's make the circuit. You need this component to build a boost converter. After completing this circuit, it will look like this. I will check this out by a lithium battery. Lithium battery is of 3.7 volt. Now I will check how much volt is coming out from this boost converter. From 3.7 volt, it boosts up maximum 38 volt. I tried to light up this 12 volt LD strip by a 3.7 volt lithium battery, but it doesn't work. So now I connect this LED strip to the end of my boost converter. And in the input, I connect a lithium battery 3.7 volt and it's working. And I also connect a 56 ohm resistor and it burned after some time. That means the current is flowing very well. So you can try my technique to build your own boost converter. If you like this video, then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to stay updated.